Hello everyone, this is Anton and in this video I want to get into a plugin for the canvas and it's called Advanced Canvas and it really kind of adds a lot, of mo a lot more features to the default canvas that you get with Obsidian. So let's go ahead and dig into it. If we look here, I have a canvas that's already open. I have some objects that have already been put on the, the canvas here that we can kind of play around with and see some of the functionality. Now, one thing with the, the Obsidian Canvas, while it is, it does have a lot of features to it, there are some things that are missing if you're coming from something like a Miro or a diagramming tool. One of those big glaring holes or features that are missing is that you don't have shapes within the Obsidian Canvas by default. You only get this, this rectangular shape by default that you can kind of square out and expand and minimize as you need to to fit the content that you're putting in it. Now you also when you're creating these groups like you can group certain objects here these groups cannot be minimized so you if you create them the way they are showing right now if you want to collapse those you cannot do this and there's one thing in, in uh, help the base in their map that I like where you can actually collapse the cards and make them smaller so we'll see how the advanced plugin works to where it gives you somewhat of that feature the arrows are basic arrows if I put this arrow here we can see like right here this is a single object that's floating in the canvas if I put that over the arrow you can see that arrow goes through it so you kind of lose perspective on whether this is connected to this actual shape and then this shape is connected to the other one um, or again if that arrow is just going straight through and they there's no relation between thing two and these other objects so this is there's another feature within the advanced plugin that helps out with this and we'll take a look at that and then the other problem or thing that you you don't have with the default canvas is that you can add a canvas on a canvas and what it does is gives you this preview of the shapes that are within the canvas but it does not let you see the actual content so if I expand this out and make this bigger all you see are just bigger representations of the shapes that are within this canvas and the advanced plugin will actually let you peek into that and we'll see how that works now I won't be getting to getting into all of the features for the advanced plugin but let's get into some of the features that I've already called out which have been things that have been a little bit challenging for me as I'm using this canvas that they fix so if we go into the settings you would go into browse search for your plugin and install and enable it I already have it installed so I'm just going to go ahead and enable it and don't forget to go and take a look at their documentation so there's plenty of documentation on what you can do with this plugin so I recommend you go and check that out let's go into the settings in the settings here we can get everything is enabled by default which is good so right out of the box you get all the full capabilities but you can come in here and turn some things uh, off and you can modify some of the configurations here like for the default text node when you double click you get a text node in the canvas it creates a basically a more of a rectangular shape that's one line in here you can make that uh, bigger or even smaller and you can also do that for the default file node that gets created and just scroll through there are some other settings in here that you can do again I won't go through any of these here right now but you can play with those later now one of the things I mentioned were the with the groups and where, the, where you could not collapse them so here I can actually collapse these groups now that feature works pretty well there we go and also the shapes so I mentioned that by default you do not get different shapes we can see here once I enable that plugin these shapes showed up and these were shapes I used to plug in to create these but once I unenabled the plugin 
these all reverted back to the default but if we click on one of these shapes we click on the little shape icon here in the menu you have all these different types of shapes that you can leverage within, within your canvas now we can also see here with the arrow where I mentioned the arrow was going through this particular shape now if you move the shapes around the arrow depending on what type it is it actually tries to go around the actual shape click the shape click on this little shape tool here or edge path route um, option here and then if you click on the one that has the little navigation arrow here with an A when you hover over it this one here will um, change this particular arrow so that it tries to go around objects as, and not go through them. You can also change this to where it's more squared off. If we look, take a look at this particular shape now, square it off. We can make it a straight line um, or we can just change it back to its default state which would be here. And then the other kind of big feature plus of using this plugin is that with the canvas as I mentioned before you can only typically like click into the canvas and then go to the canvas and open it up with without the plugin the advanced plugin but now you can actually come in here you click on it you hit this open portal and then it will actually expand that canvas out for you and you can see everything in this parent canvas without having to uh, click into the canvas that you have set up here one other feature that you might want to use you can you can set up a presentation with your with your canvas and here at the bottom you have a menu here where you can drag a slide over so if you want to create one slide one you can come in here you can have a, certain things within slide one and we can see I have this stuff here and it also put by default that first slide that I drug in here as the starting point but you could actually come in here and let's say I was to let's close this one off and make this one you know the the next slide I would come here and I would put an arrow to that one there and now this would be the second slide within the presentation that I'm doing if I want to change this one I can just click on it hit that that play uh, icon there and that will set this one to the start right now and then all you have to do really is just come in and and change the the arrow on okay this is going to be your next slide within that presentation and then subsequent slides just do the same thing and one other notable feature to, to call out here is border styles that you can do now. Let's go ahead and zoom in on this particular shape. We can come in here and we can change the border. So the default is filled in, is solid. And if we go ahead and change this to dash, we can see what that looks like there. Let's go ahead and change it to the dot. We can see the dot grid. The dot and the dash doesn't look two different you can see that there are more dashes here um, but they're pretty similar and then you can also hide um, or let me see I did the dash I did the dot yeah you can make this invisible where it hides the border but it you can still see an outline here so it's not I guess technically invisible or maybe they're just considering the outline is just more of a shadow um, but you still can see somewhat of an outline around that shape so we covered portals peeking into portals or having portals to see the content of a canvas that's within a canvas the border styling the arrow styling the minimizing of group now I didn't go into every feature of the advanced plugin there are some more I encourage you to go and read the documentation, install it, play around with it. It is one of those uh, plugins that if you use the Canvas, I think it's a must have. So check out the plugin if you like it. Leave a comment in the comment section of the video about what you like, maybe what you don't like. 
and uh, reach out to the developer if there's some things or feedback you want to provide for improvements of the plugin. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. If you found got value out of the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And until the next time, have a nice day.